The 28 day soul activation challenge is for those people who want to get back in touch with themselves. I'm Queen King Guinea. I'm the creator of the 28 day soul activation challenge and the facilitator and coach of this step by step process that is an introduction to self mastery and transformation of self. So just to take you through it, what you get when you sign up for this course is you get the login and password to the 28 day soul activation. You get the login and the password to access the 28 day soul activation challenge to get back in touch with yourself. So what you get in the beginning is there's a small exercise you do just for you to get clear on your intention and what you want to manifest in the next 28 days. Just to remind you, you'll have one focus. So for example, your focus is to find job, find love, uh, maybe move from a situation, find the courage to move from a situation that no longer suits you. So whatever it is, this soul activation will give you that courage by getting in touch with yourself. So you get a workbook and a journal which you download from here. And the way this is structured, you only need five minutes a day to do the soul activations. All the soul activations are downloadable. Another thing that will be really helpful for you is to have a way to document what's going to come up for you in the next 28 days. So you choose whatever that 28 days is going to be for you, but you really have to commit to yourself. Remember, when we break the commitment to ourselves, we stop believing in ourselves. So you either commit to saying, I want to do this or just don't get on the path at all. It's usually much more painful for your soul when you break down a commitment you made to yourself, let alone other people. So anyway, so you'll need a way to document. If you have your own journal, that's perfect. But this is just a bit of a structure to give you an idea of what to look for. You need one focus, one thing to focus on for the rest of the 28 days. It is okay to have spiritual goals. You actually have to employ your logic side of your mind. People tend to win spiritual goals because you think they're not like your business goals or your personal goals. However, it's the same key principle. You're still trying to build the momentum. You're still trying to build discipline because without discipline, you really will never achieve anything. So for example, if you wanted to do your soul activation challenge from the 1st of March to the 29th of March, then it will help to just go on your calendar and just block out that five, 10 minute block. Some people are happy with their five minutes and that's enough, you know, but some people may prefer to do it at midday on their lunch break. Just take five minutes to get back in touch with yourself. And someone may prefer to do it in the evening, maybe 6 p.m. or just before they go to bed. But what is key and what is important for you to get the success, uh, to get successful at doing this and to achieve what you want by the end of this 28 day soul activation challenge is definitely scheduling it on your calendar. I will just say one last thing is whenever you get on your soul's path, it's always important to keep your path sacred to yourself. What I'm getting at, yes, by all means sign up for the 28 day soul activation. But don't go sharing what's coming up for you on Facebook or with people who are not on the path that will deter you from your path simply because other people's egos will get in the way of your soul's path. Not everybody who, who's, who wants to get on their spiritual path and that's fine and there's nothing wrong with that. And maybe it's not even their time, but sharing your journey with people who are not on their soul's path that is how you'll leave your own soul's path and your soul will be devastated. So keep your journey sacred. That's why I created a community of people only doing this course, people only doing this challenge. So that if something comes up for you and you want to share, you want somebody to go like, oh my goodness, I had a similar experience. How did it go? And then at least I'm there to guide you on how to navigate the challenges that will come up. That's it from me. Thank you for honoring your soul because we do need more people on this planet who are in touch with their souls.